Welcome Aquarius to your July reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Aquarius, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Right, my dear Aquarius, let us see what we have coming in for you. I'm going to start off over here with Korea, and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what this career energy is for Aquarius, please. And you have Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands. Aquarius, in July, your career is coming under the spotlight. Now, career has everything to do with our money, our finances, our business, our job, anything that falls under that banner. If you look closely, you will see there is a ladder going up this tree. So we can anticipate that something positive is happening. There's an elevation here. And because we have this beautiful light, almost this rainbow light surrounding the tree, which is representing your career, we know something very exciting is coming through. And in July, this is going to play one of the biggest roles. Three of Wands, my dear Aquarius, is the energy of our ships coming in. It's as though we have been preparing, planning and waiting, and then all of a sudden, something now happens. With this particular card, it's the energy, my dear Aquarius, of waiting for that perfect wave to come in so you can get out there and catch it. And that is what I'm seeing for you. Something is going to come in that you're going to be able to catch. It's going to be solid and it's going to be tangible. With that, we've got the Nine of Cups, which is so wonderful to see here because it confirms for us, my dear Aquarius, that you are getting a wish fulfillment when it comes to your career energy. So whatever is coming in, it's going to be so great for you that it's going to have you leaping for joy. Examples of this, my dear Aquarius, would be finding that perfect job, landing a great contract, or securing a new big client in your business, getting a promotion with great benefits and more money. This could be the energy of moving homes to a much better home where you really feel you have upgraded and you feel like you have arrived, that you've really accomplished a lot by moving to this new home. This, my dear Aquarius, could be starting a new business that you've been planning and organizing and researching. And now in July, you put everything in motion. As you can see, it's going to be so different for everybody. But my dear Aquarius, whatever this is for you, it's so positive. Something's coming in that's real. It's solid. And you're going to be this kind of happy. And this, my dear Aquarius, is real core happiness. Wonderful message coming through there for you. Let's move on now and see what our mending energy is all about. And I will just get your clarifiers. Right. Let us see now what this mending energy is for. Aquarius, please. And we have Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Aquarius, the mending energy is the energy of forgiveness, 
of making amends and of healing after arguments. With Knight of Cups coming in, my dear Aquarius, I do feel that there could be somebody coming in in July that is going to either ask for your forgiveness, they're going to apologize for something they might have said or did. Somebody's coming in that wants to make peace, that wants to bring back harmony in the relationship between you. This, my dear Aquarius, is going to be so different for everybody. This could be somebody that you haven't spoken to for years, or this could be a recent falling out you've had. It could be that you recently had a very big argument with your significant other, and some ugly things were said, and your partner now just comes in and says, Aquarius, I'm so sorry. It was just in the heat of the moment. Please forgive me, and let's move on. This could be a family member my dear Aquarius, that you have lost touch with for many years, coming in and saying, Aquarius, life's too short. Let's clear the air. Let's move on. As you can see, it could be anybody, but somebody's coming in and asking you to heal what could have gone wrong between you. We have a lovely energy coming through with this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is the energy, my dear Aquarius, of the hand of God coming in and giving you the wand of possibility. Now in this card, we see the third eye chakra lit up. We have been told, my dear Aquarius, that when this apology comes in, if it sits well with you, intuitively, you know that deep, wise feeling within you you will know if you want to mend this relationship and then continue having this person in your life. Or you will know, my dear Aquarius, that you can accept their apology or not and say goodbye, but not want them back in your life. Your intuition will tell you everything. You don't have to let your head rule your heart over here. You let those hunches, those gut feelings come to the forefront. What is your higher self telling you? Is this someone you are happy to have back in your life on a regular basis? Or sometimes, my dear Aquarius, we can just acknowledge that this person played a role in our past. We are either happy to accept their apology or not. But where we are now, there's no room for this relationship. You trust what you are feeling, my dear Aquarius. Because there are times, my dear Aquarius, we are very happy to have people coming back into our lives or forgiving people for what they might have said or did because nobody's perfect. And then there are other times, my dear Aquarius, where we just simply do no longer want that person and their energy in our lives. You will know. You trust your inner feelings. Act on that and you cannot go wrong. So that's a very interesting message coming through for some of my Aquarians. And of course, this will not resonate with everybody. Right, let us move on now and see what confidence is all about for you. And I'll just get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what this confidence message is for Aquarius, please. We have Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands. Aquarius, this is a very interesting message coming through for you. You, my dear Aquarius, are presenting as Queen of Cups in this reading. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Cups I am speaking about. Queen of Cups is a very emotionally wise and mature queen. She is also the queen, my dear Aquarius, who is incredibly intuitive. She trusts her gut feelings. She trusts those deep insights that she receives. She is a queen who is very connected and works with spirit. This month, my dear Aquarius, you are being told very beautifully that when you work with your intuition, 
you'll be able to manage whatever comes your way. No matter how tricky, no matter how challenging, if you work with your intuition, you will always find the way out. You will find the way to the light. Now, interestingly, this is sitting under confidence. The more you trust and work with your intuition, the more you're going to feel secure, confident, and proud of yourself. You know, Aquarius, when we work on a logical basis, we would think to ourselves, if somebody comes back into our lives and says sorry, we must allow them back in. But you will understand that you can accept somebody's apology and still not let them back into your life. And when you honor that enlightened oracle in you, my dear Aquarius, and it doesn't matter what anybody around you is saying, you know what is right for you. Your confidence is going to soar because you know that you can rely on yourself. You can trust yourself to make the right decisions, to let the right people in and to say goodbye to people who no longer have a place in your life. My dear Aquarius, in July, your confidence is going to soar. It's going to soar because you're going to see something incredibly wonderful happening under the career message that's going to give you such a wonderful feeling of celebration and rejoicing. You're going to trust yourself because you will know who you want back in your life and you will know when it simply doesn't work for you. And when our confidence soars, my dear Aquarius, no matter what comes your way, you're going to manage it. You are going to find the answers you need. Very positive message coming through there. Let us move on now and see what your guides would like to share with you. Right, let us see now what Aquarius' guides would like to share with them, please. And you have decisions, higher self, number 32. Aquarius, the numbers 32 and 52 are your lucky numbers this month. Any combination or variation of these numbers, please consider very auspicious. And my dear Aquarius, this energy of decisions is very much connected to our mending energy. And as I mentioned, my dear Aquarius, you will decide what is right for you. What does your heart and intuition tell you? This is what you listen to. That's the road you go down. That is what's going to bring you to the right place in your life. Your higher self is telling you very clearly, my dear Aquarius, don't listen to what other people are telling you. You know the energy of, oh Aquarius, they said sorry, let them back in your life. Oh Aquarius, let bygones be bygones. Yes, they might have hurt you in the past. Give them another chance. If you feel it deep within you that you want this person in, wonderful. Then you take them back in. But other than that, trust yourself. Your higher self, my dear Aquarius, will not let you down. Your intuition is going to be your compass this month. Trust it, your confidence will soar and things will go so wonderfully for you. What an exciting and interesting month coming in for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I am sending you all so much love. <music>